And this is a competitive card game where players are going to be putting different creatures out on the board in front of them, issuing them different traits, and then trying to evolve them using energy. At the start of the game, you're going to be putting the energy deck on the table, and then you're going to be revealing one of the energy cards. Any energy available on this card is available to all players. Then there is also going to be some energy outlined at the top of the card associated with a specific type of trait that only creatures with that trait are able to access. You're then going to be dealing out a creature card to each player. This represents the starting creature for each of the players, but then you're also going to be dealing out five more of these cards into each of the player's hands. Players are then going to be taking turns performing two optional actions and one mandatory action, with the optional actions being to create a new creature by taking a creature card from their hand and then putting it face down on their table with the lizard visible. And the second optional action is to add a new trait card, which means that you're going to be taking one of those creature cards from your hand, choosing one of the traits on either side of that card, then sliding it behind one of the face down creature cards that you have on the table. Doing this will add that trait to your creature as well as any associated abilities. And finally, we have the mandatory action, which is to activate one of your creatures. And whenever you do this, you're going to be choosing a creature to activate. And then you'll be able to choose one of four different activations. You can either gain an energy from that shared source card, if there's any available that you're able to take. Or instead, you can choose to attack another creature if you have a trait card that allows you to do so. This is also another way to gain energy onto your creature card. But it's also going to put your creature to sleep after it performs the attack. Or if your creature card already has four energy on it, you can choose to transmute it, which will evolve it into a token, representing that that creature is complete. Finally, if there's no other actions you can perform, then you can choose the sleep action, which is just going to put your creature to sleep. The round ends once every single player's creature is in a sleep state, and then you're going to be dealing out a new energy card, dealing new creature cards to each of the players. Then the game continues like this until one player transmutes three of their creatures first, then that player wins the game. And if this one sounds interesting to you, I do have links to the campaign in the description below, and of course you can always click to get notified.